campaign 2018. It is the prime strategy for Illinois Democrats in the fall election, linking every Republican to President Donald Trump. A new ad by Democratic challenger Sean Caston claims Congressman Peter Roskam and Trump are practically joined at the hip. But is it true? CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely fact checks those claims. Career politician Peter Roskam is supposed to work for us. Instead, he's been a rubber stamp for Donald Trump. That's Sean Caston's claim about Congressman Peter Roskam. But is it right? We'd say that's true. According to Congressional Quarterly, Roskam voted 94% with President Trump. But Roskam called that misleading, also pointing to his disagreements with Trump. When Donald Trump decided that he wanted to cut Great Lakes funding by 95%, Great Lakes cleanup, we were able to roll him and get it done. He came out in very stark contrast against increased sanctions for Russia for meddling in the 2018 election. And he said he was never going to sign that bill until the bill ended up on his desk with my support and he was forced to sign it. Still, Roscombe's record is rock solid conservative. 92% approval from manufacturers, 93% from the NRA, but only 3% from conservationists and zero from abortion advocates. There's something shady about Sean Caston. Meantime, this Roscoe man attacks Caston for taking the kind of government tax breaks at his former business that Caston otherwise claims he opposes. Caston promises one thing, but does another. A charge Caston says is flatly untrue. That's pretty rich coming from someone who's taken hundreds of thousands of dollars from the pharmaceutical industry and from the gun lobby. And um, I mean, if you want to talk about somebody who's been corrupted by money, he's, he should look in the mirror more often. Another development tonight in this closely watched campaign. Caston says a private poll taken for him now shows him ahead for the very first time. 47% to 44% with 9% undecided. And even Roskam admits this race is very close. Reporting live from the newsroom, Derek Blakely, CBS2 News. Robin Erica. All right, thanks for sorting it out for us, Derek.